Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Leos. Welcome back, Lions. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Leos. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family, gang gang. Shout out to the soul tribe. Thank each and every one of you all for your continuous love and support here. I truly hope, soul family, you are enjoying the content here each and every day just as much as I am. Thank you so much for being a part of this spiritual journey here with me, Leos. I appreciate you, soul family. Your love never goes unnoticed on this platform. Thank you so much, soul tribe. Gang, gang. And welcome, Lions. Welcome to the ones that are new here. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you for your comments and your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you, Lions. It is a pleasure. All right, thank you so much. Today's topic here for you, Leos, is the person that is on your mind. Yes, we're going to see how they feel towards you, Lions. What are some things that they want to say to you right now? And most importantly, what messages do your spirit team have for you, Leos, when it comes to the person that is on your mind, all right? So come on in, get comfortable, and let's talk about this thing called love, all right? Let's go ahead and dive in, Lions. Wow, we have the Six of Swords here, all right? This is air elements here. All right, some of you out this person here could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. All right, but this is an energy here that indicates that this is someone that's been hurt. Um, this could have been unexpectedly here for some of you all. This is a situation where you find yourself now, Leos, having to remove yourself from a relationship or a situation here that you no longer feel welcomed or you no longer feel like, you know, that this is the best opportunity or relationship for you, all right? The Six of Swords talks about removing yourself from a situation that caused you pain, all right? But knowing that you're going towards calmer waters, even though you're leaving this person or this place or this thing behind, know that you're going towards a peaceful environment, Know you're going towards somewhere that's going to be better for you. And then one day you're going to look back on all of this, Leos, and you're going to be glad that you did, okay? Promise you, okay? You're going to be glad that you look back on this and was like, wow, I dodged a bullet in some type of form, fashion, or shape, or way. The universe has a way of always coming back around and showing you what you thought you missed out on that you didn't miss out on okay so you will get confirmation on whatever this is that you find yourself now having to walk away from but in the future you're going to be glad that you did it it's going to be very beneficial for you and you're going to be happy because you're going to still have a peace of mind okay so let's move forward let's dive more deeper here about the relationship or connection here that you're experiencing right now. We have the two of pentacles here, earth elements here. Some of you are this person was an earth sign. They could have been a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, Leos, that was in this space of energy where they put you through some pain or hurt you due to a situation that you obviously here didn't agree with. All right. I feel like the two of pentacles energy talks about multitasking it also talks about um having more than one priority trying to manage multiple priorities or multiple things that they have juggling on their plate okay rather that's juggling a person juggling a, a thing or juggling something here that cause an inconvenience here for you to and cause conflict so whatever this person was juggling or trying to keep a balance it caused conflicts on down the line between you and this person because of whatever behavior pattern or situation here that they continue to allow to happen instead of balancing this situation out here. All right, so let's see here with the third card. Yeah, we got the Eight of Swords here, air element. Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign here. This could be Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. Or this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. 
or this could be again well yes we got air element and we have i want to say fire element some of y'all this person may be a fire sign they may be an air sign here or they could be an earth sign here okay take those messages how they resonate there for you lions let's get some clarity out here now that we kind of got a feel of the background of this entire situation let's now clarify the energy here to get more insight for you leos all right wow if the message here so far lions is resonating for you is providing you clarity and understanding again smash that big fat thumbs up hit that like button that'd be very much appreciated from my guardian angels to your guardian angels leos all right and if you would love to book a personal reading with me lions my email details is down below in the description box all right let's clarify the six of swords here clarify the six of swords please Why do we have the Six of Swords here for Leo's energy? Clarify the Six of Swords, please, and thank you. Yeah, we got the Magician here. All right, some of y'all, this person could, again, be a fire sign like yourself. They could be an Aries here with the Magician energy, or they could be Aquarius here. All right. I see you are now taking the necessary steps or Leos to get your power back. This is what you're doing. Yeah, you're manifesting. You're getting your power back and you're deciding the things that you want to do and manifest for your future. And you're choosing to focus on yourself. There is no one else in this picture but this cat. All right. So you're stepping back into you and you're manifesting. You're utilizing all four elements here. And you're going after what you know that you're deserving of and not sticking around for someone that here is ashamed of themselves because of their continuous behavior patterns that they made was no interest in fixing in the first place. Unfortunately, I know some of these things may hurt to even say for some of y'all because you're still currently in the energy. You're still currently feeling this way. So, you know, things are a little clouded right now for you. And I understand that, Leos. I've been there, I've done that, and I've gotten this t-shirt. All right, several of them are hanging up in my fucking closet. But they all have allowed me to evolve. They all have allowed me to become a better version of myself. And they've all helped me to be mindful. So when I go into my next relationship or commitment, I can be aware of these type of behavior patterns. I can avoid these type of behavior patterns. I can be able to see the red flags and not allow myself to be blinded when I catch these flags and instead not avoiding them. Because sometimes that's what we do. We know that the signs are there, but sometimes we choose to avoid them. And then when it's later on is when we be in this space of being hurt or feeling this way. You know, it don't hit us until after the fact, right? Clarify the two of pentacles here, please. Why do we have the two of pentacles here again? This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here for some of you all. Clarify the two of pentacles, please, for Leo's person energy here. Yeah, we got the nine of swords. This person is stressed out, Leos, because they know what they did was wrong. Some of you are already called this person out on their bullshit, and you already told them that you was wrong for this shit, you know? And they're now stressed over this. They're having anxiety attacks for some of you all over this. They're not getting any sleep behind this, Leos. Uh, they're really stressed out. Not so much exchanging energies with no one right now. They may go into work and put a big smile on their face, but when they go home by themselves, this is the energy that they're in. You better believe it. Clarify the Eight of Swords. They may try to put a front on the front end of things in the community and around people and on social media, but behind closed doors, they are screaming damn near for their life. Clarify the Eight of Swords because only someone that's guilty is going to be in this type of energy or space here. Clarify the Eight of Swords. 
Why do we have the eight of swords here? Clarify the eight of swords. We know the eight of swords talks about guilt, regrets, disappointment in themselves. Yeah, we got the um, ace of wands coming out in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all, you turned them down. You turned the offer down, which I'm glad for some of y'all that you did because as me being a tarot reader here on this platform, I don't see anywhere. There's no cards that's coming out, Leos, that's indicating that this person has decided to change or heal from this situation or do better from this situation because one thing here, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to save you some time so that way you have time to adjust and grow and heal. Not here to tell you what you want to hear, but I'm here to tell you what you need to hear. Some of y'all, this may be a hard pill for you to swallow. And sometimes the truth hurts, but it will set you free. All right. Let's see what they want to say now. Now that we kind of got a background of this person's energy and, you know, things that have took place here. Let's now see what they want to say. Let's see what future actions here with the raw tarot index cards that they want to take on behalf of this here. Again, if this is resonating for you, smash that big fat thumbs up, Leos. That'd be very much appreciated from my guardian angels and my ancestors. If you would love, again, to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box, all right? Let's see what this person here wants to say. What do they have to say beyond their relationship here in the past? Oh, wow. Okay. We got, I want your body. I don't want that anymore. So, yeah, some of y'all, this was someone that possibly here put you in a third party situation. You may have found that out as well, which makes sense because we got the two of pinnacles out here. All right. And that indicates that this person, again, was having multiple of uh, situations and circumstances that was taking a place around them. And they could have easily chose, you know, to remove themselves from those situations. But with the nine of swords here. This tells me that they were doing this for quite some time and maybe even before you, Leos. All right. So just be mindful of that. And then we have I want your body. OK, so this person here definitely desires you, of course. They definitely desire to be in your space and your energy. But they got to understand you can't treat people this way. You have to treat people how you want to be treated. And I'm sure there was a lesson overall for both parties that were involved here. Okay. Wow, Leos. I definitely hope this help gave you the divine insight and the clarity, most importantly, and confirmation for what you needed to be able to move forward here. Thank you again for your time. If you're new, again, like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, Leos, a part of our soul family. All right. Thank you again, Soul Tribe. It's always an honor to assist you. If you would love to be a part of the Soul Tribe, that link is on the homepage for the Patreon. I do provide early access there, Leos, to all my readings that I post here on YouTube. You also get early energy check-ins as well for the zodiac signs. You get weekly astrology reports, weekly oracle messages, 25% off personal readings, and you get free questions every time I go live for my Patreon family. So thank you again, Leos, and I truly wish you and this person the best, my loves. All right? Mwah. Bye-bye.